Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard. So, today I got bored enough to do something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I just haven't put uh, any effort into doing it. So, uh, we have many, many, many bags, these plastic bags. Tons and tons. Way, way more than what we can use as trash bags. Because we use these as uh, small trash bags and uh, I take them out into the field with me uh, on occasion to uh, collect up trash and, and keep it uh, so that it doesn't get strewn around but today I am finally cutting them into pieces and I'm going to uh, do a couple hundred of them and we're going to turn that into a cordage. So let's take a look at this. I have a, a, a common plastic bag. <clears throat> it can be Walmart, Dollar Tree. It doesn't really matter where they come from. They're all basically the same thing. So what I do is I open it out. I flatten it. Fold it one time. Two times. And three times. Now, first thing I do is snip the very end of it off and turn it around to the other side and snip that handle part off. Just like that. Now all I do is cut them into about eight pieces. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then when you open them up, You get a loop. Now what we're going to do with that loop later is just cut it and that gives us one long strip. <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll take three of these strips and we will uh, do our normal three wrap uh, for cordage and we'll make, uh, make some plastic cordage out of it. Uh, we'll continue to do that later right now. All I want to do is cut a bunch of these and uh, tons of these ready for uh, the next process of, of cutting them into the long strips. And then from there, we will start binding them together. We'll just roll them together like this a little bit here. Just get them like this. Just kind of get them small and wrap them up a little bit like this here. And then we'll take three of them and do our three, three wrap uh, for cordage and when it comes time for that we'll do that. So I have this whole bag right here full of cut bags. I probably uh, I have over a hundred strips or so at least in here. That's enough to get keep me going for days if not weeks. <clears throat> so I decided I would start uh, twisting this into cordage and all I'm gonna do is I got these three and I'm just gonna weave them I take the left one across the center right one across the center left one across the center right one across the center and I twist as I do that I, I try to twist them as I twist them the other there and intertwine them there and that's all I'm gonna do it's just left over center, right over center, left over center, right over center. And you just continue to do that and you get this piece of cordage here. Now, this would be good enough to tie uh, things at camp and everything. If I want to make this stronger, then I will uh, take another three uh, 
strip the and and put it together so then it becomes six so I could take two two threes and put them together and weave them together that would make six and if I wanted to continue that I could uh, take another one so you know I can make this as thick as I want but I like the three right now and I'll just keep weaving this until you know uh, well I could do it for weeks honestly so uh, whenever whenever I'm sitting around camp and doing nothing or if I'm sitting at the house and I don't have a lot to do and uh, I could just put some music on or maybe a, a, a video of some outdoors stuff or whatever else some martial arts stuff something that I don't really necessarily care that I that I watch I just want the, to hear it with the noise and just keep uh, keep winding this and um, working this until I get my cordage so this will this is something that I can continue to do for weeks uh, who knows how much cordage that I get uh, once I come to the end of this and I start adding cordage I'll uh, I'll show you how how I will uh, add cord uh, add to this to, to make one continuous uh, piece of cord and again it's exactly the same way that that I do all of my cordage there's there's no difference whether or not I'm using uh, grasses or whether I'm using uh, Dollar Tree twine or whether I'm using plastic bags it's I do it the same way with everything so so whenever I uh, get down to the end here and I want to start adding to the uh, to the three ply here I will get back with you and show you how to do that so there we go now when I introduced these uh, when I started these three they they were the same uh, size and what I need to do is introduce them uh, at different lengths so that when they're connected they're not all three connected in the same spot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop off this piece here short and I'm going to introduce the next piece so you have three pieces this piece here is the short one so I'm just gonna wrap it together so that it becomes one piece And then I'm going to start placing that into the weave. And once I get that integrated into the, the weave, then I can start with another one. But I want to make sure that these three get uh, different stages so that they don't uh, I don't introduce a, a new piece in the same area there we go and that's getting intertwined in there quite well It's getting close for the next one to be added. So I'm going to go ahead and add to the cordage on the next one. one
together. And then this piece will become the next one in that line. Start placing that one into close to where I'm going to have to start adding that last one in as well. I want to get several twists in there before I start adding the next it's difficult to keep this wound up Now you can see this is the original piece and now we have two long pieces Ooh, that one broke that's all right make money even anyway I need one more to start on this last one get this one wound together And that's how you add pieces. It's the same way. It's the same way when you're uh, adding pieces with cordage or any other uh, any other string that you're creating, uh, three ply or any other ply uh, cordage to. So I'm going to go ahead and continue do this until I get extremely bored and stop because this is gonna as I said before take a considerable amount of time but they've been incorporated quite well into this three ply piece and as you can see now they're long and then there's the one that got tore and I can could use this piece that tore off or I could just not worry about it and get a longer piece it doesn't really matter but I'm just going to continue to create this cordage and I'll get back with you later.